komið í sæl. Við lítum hér örstutt á veðurhorfur til morguns en það stefnir í suðvestlega eða vestlega átt með rigningu um allt land. Verður þó súld hér um vestanverðan hlutan og gæti stytt upp um tíma hér fyrir norð, austan og jafnvel sest til sólar en þó verður rigning meginhlutan að deginum þar. Þrátt fyrir vætu tíð þá stefnir í skaplegasta veður, hægan vind og þó nokkuð hlýtt víðast hvar og gæti hittin farið víða hér fyrir austan og norðaustan yfir 20 stegin. Það stefnir þó ekki að nýtt landsitamett sem sett var í síðustu viku, 32,2 stig í húsafelli, að það verði slegið núna í bráð. Næstu daga stefnir síðan í áframhald á rigningunni en þó hlýtt veður. Hversu síðan eftir helgi? Þakk ykkur fyrir og verið sæl. This is one version of a forecast for Iceland that could take place in the year 2050. The weather will be warmer, but there will also be more precipitation with fewer dry or sunny days, which is the perfect weather for some plant life. When focusing on the outlook of the land itself, we can see the difference in where a birch forest could grow in the warming climate of the future, as opposed to today. Higher temperatures will most likely have positive effects on agriculture, but there may also be negative effects as it will be more habitable for certain species from the south. Species that have not been seen before in the ecosystem of Iceland and could pose unforeseen disruption. For example, birds and disease-bearing insects such as the castor bean tick, which has occasionally come here, but will likely flourish with warming temperatures and increasing forests. Iceland has always been a big fishing nation and the effects of global warming will likely be very evident in the ocean. As the sea gets warmer, new species will also migrate from the south and disrupt the ecosystem with drastic consequences, as the mackerel has already done. The acidification of the ocean around Iceland for the last decades is also unquestionable and will continue with great consequences on sea life. For example, sea butterflies which supply food for other zooplankton as well as fish whales and seabirds. They could easily disappear from the ocean affecting the food supply of numerous animals. When these delicate creatures are left in unsaturated ocean for only 45 days, these are the results. The glaciers are also retreating with higher temperatures and scientists believe that they will have almost disappeared in 150 or 200 years. The ice in Iceland is slowly and inevitably disappearing. It is an unmistakable fact that the average temperature in Iceland has been increasing in the last 200 years, a trend that will continue in the next decades, with all these possible consequences if nothing is done. The future is full of uncertainties, but scientists believe there are drastic changes ahead for Iceland, both good and bad. Thank you and goodbye. Climate change is affecting the weather everywhere. It makes it more extreme and disturbs established patterns. That means more disasters, more uncertainty. We can reduce the risks by cutting global greenhouse gas emissions and building low carbon economies. Let's work together to make our societies safer and more resilient. Please join me in taking action on climate change. Thank you.